Hi, I'm kind of nervous right now because this is my first live pop-up voice lesson on Facebook and I'm trying it out with you guys, my friends, to see who would even be interested in something like this. But I, my plan is to kind of do like little five minute, 10 minute things that are just little tips about singing and if you're already a singer then you might be familiar with this but maybe some inspiration and maybe some uh, reminding would be good so I wanted to talk today about how your jaw can actually steal away some of your sound and it's because we speak a lot by closing our mouth right in English we have a lot of mmm and the teeth are together if you try to do mmm and you put your teeth, you can feel your teeth close together, or um, oh, you can feel your, you can, well, oh, right, L's and M's. We have a lot of consonants that when we speak, we put our teeth really, really close together, right? So the problem is, is that when you're trying to sing and you have your teeth really, really close together, what you're gonna wind up doing when you make words is closing off that sound. So remember that when we're singing, we have kind of this breath thing happening. The breath goes through. I'm gonna be very um, non-scientific about this because I see Lee is on there. Hi, Lee. Hi, Joshua. Hi, Patty. And Evan, oh my gosh, Evan, you're like a million years, like on the other side of the nation or the other side of the world and you're seeing this. Hi, Tara. So remember when we're breathing, the whole thing is, right, you take your breath, your breath moves to the vocal folds, the vocal folds vibrate, that breath kind of changes into a sound wave, that sound wave bounces around a lot of resonators and then it comes out your face, right? Um, hi. So hi, Becky. And what I wanna talk to you today is about getting that jaw out of the way when you are singing a phrase so that you can continue to have this nice legato, that means kind of a long, that means long, right, in Italian, this long line. And I wanted to talk, especially like, I'll do Somewhere Over the Rainbow today because I know you guys know that song. So um, I'll do in the original key, this is C to C. Somewhere over the rainbow. Right, so that's our line. Now here's the problem. When we sing it without, with our teeth close and we don't pay attention to our jaw, we do this. Somewhere over the rain. See how close my teeth are? Boo! And you can't get the legato in between and it sounds kind of choppy. So what I want you to try to do, if you guys know that song, I hope that it's not in a bad key for you. But if you guys know that song, I want you to try to do it and close your lips around the words rather than using your jaw to make closure in the words. So instead of somewhere over, right? Use the lips. Somewhere over the rainbow. And that's what's gonna give you that kind of nice legato line. You can kind of imagine, sometimes what I do is I imagine I have like a finger in my tooth right there, or I imagine that uh, I can't close my mouth. But here's the trick of it. Legato is the thing that communicates to people tension in an emotion. So if you're chewing your words, your audio... Oh, it went weird for a second. So anyway, you don't want to chew the words because your audience will not feel your tension. And you want them to feel your tension because that's what draws them in and that's what makes them listen and that's what also tells them that you care about what they're doing, okay? So questions, comments, concerns, let me know. Thanks so much for watching. I hope this was helpful. Bye.